Okay, yesterday we did models and now we're gonna move on to the old fashioned way, which is our standard algorithm. And it is just adding up decimal place about um, numbers of decimal places. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve the same problem here. So we already know our answer is four tenths, but I'm gonna show you how I can do it another way. Okay, so the first step that I'm going to do in the standard algorithm is the old fashioned way. What do we use? What did mom and dad, how did they learn? So multiply the factors. These are the factors. We're going to pretend like there are no decimal points when we multiply. But for each of the factors, I want to say how many place values are behind, how many are behind the decimal? There are two places behind the decimal here. There are zero places behind the decimal here because the decimal is right here at the end. So now I'm going to multiply okay, the factors, which we know 8 times 5 is 40. Okay. Now I start at the right and I count the number of place values. So I'm going to add these up here. So you have two place values. Basically, how many place values do you have behind the decimal between the two numbers, which is two. So now I need to take my decimal point here and move it over to the left to place values. So my answer is four tenths. You, this is a major point I would like you to highlight or color. You, this is a big thing that I wanted you to pay attention to when we added, and I said it a million times, but you do not have to line up the decimals when you multiply. That is only addition and subtraction. All you do is count the place values here and here turns into two place values. That means I have to move it two places to the left. So that's what it says here. In the product, start at the right and count to the left the same number of places and insert the decimal point. So we're going to do this example here. So we're going to multiply. There are three times two is six, zero, zero. Okay. The next thing I want to say is how many, how many numbers are behind the decimal point? How many place values? I have one, two. Here I have zero. So I'm going to use two place values over. And my answer is going to be six hundredths. So if drawing the picture helps you do that and use graph paper, if uh, doing it this way helps you, do it that way, okay? So I'm gonna do two more examples. So this is number three. I'm gonna multiply Two hundred fifteen thousandths times six. This would be thirty nine twelve. Now I have three place value here. I have one, two, three behind. I have zero here, so I'm going to have. I'm going to move it one, two, three place values. So my answer is one in 29 hundredths or 290 thousandths. I could, it's the same thing. My next and last problem on this page will be 45 hundredths times two. This would be 10 and nine. This is two place values. That is, is zero place values. So I'm moving it over one, two. So that'd be 90 hundredths or nine tenths. So that is the notes for this lesson. And then we will be doing practice on the next page.